you all for coming. Uh, my name is Tristan Babcock, and I have my teammates Jenna Osborne, Daniel Lamas, and Derek Daniels, who are all our flyers for our experiment. And this is on the bottom our awkward phonics. So what we're going to be doing on a table setup we have is we'll have the, we have three sets of these cubes where we'll be pumping water through the syringe into here. This is our water container where we will contain a shrimp to monitor how it goes in microgravity and then pushing water through into our plant chamber over here. We have hydrogen in here and then a rapid rooter. Uh, it's a plant starter so we can get a plant starting in that and it forms crib root base. And so what we're going to be doing is pushing water through here into this where we will have a moisture meter sticking into the rapid rooter and what we'll be doing is we'll be measuring the moisture levels in the rapid rooter on a scale of 1 to 10 so we can tell how dry or wet it is to see what the effects of microgravity has on water going to it and how it will uh, stay wet or dry in those conditions. Taking water out and constantly washing the shrimp as well. Okay, how much water total do you have? Um, in each of these in containers is approximately 16 ounces of water. My name is Brittany Fay and I'm a flyer for this project and we have Tyler Follett working on this project who's also flying and Nancy West over here, who's our ground crew. And this is our, oh, we're from Warren Tech Central, Lakewood, Colorado. And this is our frying an egg in space concept. So right now, we have a cooker that's insulated and the touch temperature is under 120. Touch temperature of what? Of the cooker. Of so, the cooker itself. Yeah, so anything that you can touch is gonna be under 120. And we've secured it and made sure we've tested it a few times so that and we've left it on for hours to make sure that it doesn't exceed 120 and if it does we have an infrared gun to show the, t the touch temperature so we can do that at any time in the glove box. Joshua Nelson and my team members are Daniel Daniska, Michael Tom Cannon, and Sarah Feller. Um, so our project is to test and see how we can grow plants in space. So what we have is we have a water tank here and then a root chamber here and a motor here. The water tank, the water is pumped from the water tank into the root chamber and from the root chamber back into the water tank here. Then we will spin the plant and take to see if the water can come off the roots. That's the basic testing of this and this will all be observed with an Arcos tablet too. And all of this is powered by your nine volt battery? Um, no, nine. The nine, uh, one nine volt battery is for the pumps on the, the inside of this, and then this nine volt cord here, this nine volt power adapter is for the Arduino control board in the center of the cube. So, Bravo, cube, my name can you spin that around? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> is that impossible for you guys? No. Oh, okay. we, got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Similar to a different experiment for plant growth at the International Space Station. My team member, I'm Matt Day. Uh, my team members are Lauren Martin, and Alex, and Julia, Julia. <laughs> and Calder Set. And Calder um, Set. Okay. Uh, he's, so, ours is. Uh, a little bit simpler than that. What we're going to be doing is there's this bladder here. Um, we're going to just start uh, with the bladder full of water. It's 250 milliliter IV bag uh, nylon. It will be pumped into the chamber. Um, it will pass through a valve, a pinch valve that's uh, two-way normally open. So basically it'll pump, be pumped into the chamber for half the parabolas and truly we, what we're testing is to see um, the water progression throughout this uh, like the substrate that's in there for all the parabolas, but the only true measure that we'll have the rate of progression is the first parabola. So, but we're going to be taking, I'm not sure if you know, you saw this, but there's a graduated scale on the outside of the, um, on the outside of the cube itself, and we'll be taking qualitative measurements to see how far the water's getting in the parabola, the amount of, excuse me, in the parabola time frame. Um, then for, and uh, then and on alternating parabolas, we're going to be pumping into this separate chamber here, uh, but that's only to test to see whether or not um, water can be con consistently pumped from one chamber to the, end of the other, because um, our design, we, 
one of our main, main design things is we want this chamber to be, be modular with itself. Um, we have a small plant growth chamber. We're working with uh, Nanorax or that's on the ISS to try to make one of into one of their units. Uh, we have down here we have a water bag that's being squeezed together by rubber bands connected to a solenoid controlled by our microcontroller. Uh, and when the solenoid is activated, water can flow up into uh, our chamber right here. And uh, it's divided into four different chambers and we'll grow plants there. And uh, there's uh, tubes coming out to deliver the water to all the rock wool. And then there's a layer of Gore-Tex so that no water can go through this Gore-Tex, but uh, air transpiration can occur so that the plants won't run out of uh, carbon dioxide. And uh, our microcontroller right here is gonna go on top of uh, the experiment like this. And in there, there's a, actually a camera that we can hook up to take pictures of our experiment while it's flying so we can have data to, to look at. And uh, these wires right here are moisture sensors that we hooked up. It just, uh, it basically reads the voltage across the, the rock wool. And when it's moister, it, the voltage is higher. And so you can read that data to tell if it's moist. So when it's like on the ISS, it will actually, uh, it'll tell it when it's dry so that it can water it when it needs to be watered. And uh, I'm Jacob. I'm Jericho. And our experiment consists of a low pressure water distillation setup. And, oh, um, our experiment consists of a low pressure water distillation setup and a nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer. Um, starting with the water distillation setup, the innermost tube contains water and boiling stones to demonstrate the boiling effects when exposed to a low pressure environment. And it's double contained, so and. It's double contained so the water won't go leaking around the, the experiments. And the tube is made of polycarbonates and has a Lexan base. Topped with it is a membrane glued to a stopper. It's water proof and vapor permeable to let the water vapor escape through. And we have this tube connecting to a gas pressure sensor, which then connects to a LabQuest Mini. And it goes into this Logger Pro program we have here and it measures the pressure and KPA and then we have this tube which connects to um, a polycarbonate tube that consists of silica gel laced with uh, cobalt chloride and at the two ends here we have glass wool contained with stoppers as well. I'm going to establish it just before boiling. I'm just trying to figure out what you're doing. Well, you can feel it. It's lower pressure. But it boils in about two seconds. The stones are in there as a better indicator because bubbles will form around it as it's yeah. From Science and Math, or North Carolina School of Science and Math in Durham, North Carolina. And we are testing spinal expansion in space. And so here is our... our I'm Amy, sorry. I'm Avi. I'm Tyler. And I'm Whitman. And this is our experiment. We have here um, a model of the human spine and the elastic bands kind of... Uh, Speak up a little, please. Sorry. This is a model of a human spine and the elastics here um, simulate muscles that go along the back. And so we're testing the forces with two methods, with force probes, as you can see up here, um, that test the up and down movement of the spine as it expands in space as well as piezoelectric strips on, on the sides here um, that test for minimal movements. And all of that data um, goes to the lab quests on the side. Um, we also have accelerometers for um, control data at the same time. So um, the lab quests are bunker to the outside of the glove box and um, they draw power from the from this power strip that will be connected to the aircraft power distribution panel. Um, but those strings, those hooks, the hooks connecting them have been closed off. So there's minimal scope for the hooks to, to detach and to So we are the University of Illinois team. 
Our experiment is human systems integration of tablet computing in microgravity. So we will be testing the usability of an iPad in microgravity conditions. Um, so we have developed an app which uh, tests five of the most common uh, user interfaces, basically buttons on the iPad or iPhone. Um, and basically a test bed will come up and each user will have to do so many in a certain amount of time, the same amount of time as on the ground. And we'll see the differences between how many you can do 